Capaldi oh. looking to launch another long one into the box, in towards Evans, got it well for it, this is Lowndes. Little back heel in towards Norris, Evans with the overhead. Well, they did their best to work the opportunity then. Evans, Lowndes and Norris all in there. Eventually though, the rather spectacular effort from Michael Evans. Falling rather easily for the goalkeeper. Rio for Evans, looking to curl it towards David Norris now. The foot seemed a little high then. Referee deciding that was unavoidable from Ryan Brown. Hockman losing out to Brooker, who is still going. Put McPhee in the middle. Might pull it back for McPhee here. And Steve McPhee. Well, he's been in a rich scoring form. That's his fifth goal in the last four games, and it's really come right against the runner play. Well, Steve Brooker's break, which set it all up. Inside for McPhee, who turned well, lightning speed, and then just tucked it past McCormick. Yeah, good Port Vale. They're on their way to stealing an unlikely three points. This is Gilbert. Held in for Nathan Lowndes. Phillips trying to get on the end of it. Now Gilbert again, he's found Michael Evans with a bit of space on the far side. So close from Evans. For all the world, that looks as if it could be the equaliser. Michael Evans finding time and space in the penalty area. But only a shot that summed up the afternoon so far for Argyle. Just wide of the target. Don't reach with the flick on, now Lowndes for Evans, who's got away from his man. Lowndes taking up a position just on the penalty spot. This is Stonebridge, won't drop for him. Now Adams trying to get it down. Frio, wide for Connolly. Little too long, is it? Nathan Lowndes, oh, how was that blocked? Martin Phillips blocked again and again. Well, how did that stay out? Bit of defending to do at the other end as uh, Steve Brooker makes a break. And it's well won by Connolly. And we will look for Evans, who's offside, but... Well, the Vale goal then, leading an absolutely charmed life. Nathan Lowndes probably having the best opportunity. Seemed to do everything right, but so many bodies in the way. And then as that one came out, it was blocked again and again. And the defenders just flinging themselves into the line of the ball. And eventually, they managed to scramble it away. Well, Joffrey with the free kick. And in towards Evans, got a good touch on it. And it's gone in. Yes, the ball is over the line. Martin Phillips has got it. Well, it's been a long time coming. There might even have been an element of doubt about it. And the referee and his assistant have given it. And Argyle are back on level terms. Well, Martin Phillips striking the ball against the underside of the bar. Well, referee and linesman deciding that the ball had crossed the line. And Argyle get the goal they desperately wanted. Evans trying to play it into the path of Stonebridge, who's done well to win it. Now, Blair Sturrock. Over to Martin Phillips, the goal scorer. Connolly going up on the overlap. Phillips cutting inside this time. Oh! Almost got a second then. Well, that really was quite some shot from Martin Phillips. He obviously feels he's got a taste for goal now. That fly from, what, 25 yards then? Good save from John Brain. Now Joffrey. Held in towards Michael Evans once more. Just holding it up and trying to bring someone else into it. David Frio, now he scored that spectacular goal up at Vale Park from that sort of distance. Wasn't given the opportunity to do so then, but 
He has won a free kick. Rio and Adams over the ball. It's going to be Hasni Al Joffrey to strike it. Oh, he's hit the upright. And Argala denied again by the woodwork. Well, Al Joffrey hit it all along the ground. Rain was beaten, and came back off the post. Needs a decent cross now. In towards Evans. There was some pushing going on there. Referee allowing it to continue. Phillips has kept it in play. This is Connolly. It'll flick on. Oh, won't quite fall, will it, for Stonebridge? Yes, it will. He has. And he scored. Ian Stonebridge in stoppage time. Well, it was a scrappy, scrappy goal. And perhaps it'll be a scrappy, scrappy win in the end. But Argyle will take it. Ian Stonebridge deserves the plaudits for the way he persisted with that challenge. Didn't get a great strike on it, but it was enough to beat John Brain. And enough. It looks to have secured a valuable three points for Plymouth Argyle. Obviously, we've been, been at the top of the table for a long time. We've dropped off it. You know, people are now giving us the respect we merit. They're working very hard against us. They know how we play now, so they're, they're, they're combating our, our, uh, our threat. And we've just got to keep digging deep. Could that be a turning point, do you think? Well, it could be a massive game and talked about for years to come, but uh, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge yet. Breathtaking victory 